Good morning, everybody. Today is uh, trying to make a little platform here to uh, put my loads, my uh, livestock skills on. So what I'm in the process of doing right now is drilling holes in the wood to uh, put the bolts in. What I've done, I've measured seven and a half. Say seven and a half. And I'll take a Sharpie here and I'll make a mark. I'll show you here in just a second what I got here. It's a, uh, it's a spacer for load cells. Um, I'll just show you right here. I've already did one because I wasn't sure how it was going to work because um, these are the original bolts that are for it. Yeah, right there it is. And um, they're too short for the uh, rough cut lumber. It's two inches thick. So I had to go and buy different ones of such like this. And there's not as long as they said they was, so... I gotta improvise here, so I'll just show you. Right here's the spacer. Let's see, where's the other one? These are spacers that go in between the uh, the platform and oh, here it is. Now this one, when you have aluminum or metal platform, this gets welded to the platform. So just pretend this is the platform, the bottom of it. That's welded. Um, here's the load sail. Um, this will go in here if need be. And then this goes on top. Okay, like so. And let's see, where is it? The original. See, this spacer here is threaded, so this will go down to here like so, in through this spacer, and we'll thread into this, and you just tighten it up. That's how that'll work on a metal or aluminum platform. But I have a wood one here, so I'll just I'll just show you the, the steps that I do. So as you can see, I've marked in the holes. You see the holes there. And I'll just sit you up here and can watch me work, I guess. Maybe. Yes. Here we go. Um, change boots here. Got a 7 sixteenths wood bit. Make sure you're on the center of it good. Okay, let's make sure you wasn't underneath there. Okay. Make sure you get it good and centered. And um, there's the holes. Make sure, yep, nice fit. Okay, now what I do with my own traffic. I'll have to show you what I, what I have to do to make this work because these are not, definitely are not, 
I'm just making sure that they fit. Okay. Okay. Get them out of there. So they fit. So, let me set you back up here. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right. So the next thing I have to do is change out bits. And this is a 11 sixteenths. Okay. Uh, let me pause you here because I got to turn this over and I'll show you. Got to turn over now. Um, you can see here I made some ugly holes because I actually did this upside down the way it was before. But here is the holes that we just made. So let's put you right here. Okay. And what we want to do is go just, well, you'll see. you seen we went to about right there roughly yep right to there and what that allows is this bolt to go down in there like so that way it's uh we'll go up through the load cell okay so just like so have a punch but I'm not gonna go get it so we'll improvise again I do a lot of that it's just a little bitty wrench don't take much to drive it down in there back over okay as you can see these are all caddy want but it's an easy fix where's the other nut okay, that's washer yeah i'll just take one off of this one just take the put a nut on it that way you don't mess up the threads and hammer it where you need it to be, like so. And you'll take the nuts off here. What I do with the spacer right there. It goes on there. And just take the load cell here and just make sure that it fits down on it pretty good. Yep. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Alrighty. So, because I couldn't use the other spacers that you're propped up on, I gotta put some washers. Not like so. So I'll just go on there and yes. I'll see you over. Daddy, screw daddy. Yeah, they're screwed.
screwed down. Alrighty, so uh, I'll show you here in a little bit when I get the other two in because it's just the same old, same old. So we'll catch you here in a little bit. What a mess, huh? Yeah. It's a, it's a tangled mess at the moment. Um, but, I don't know. Looks complicated, but really it's very simple. And, uh, you want something to drink? Okay. Alright. Alright. Try this again. Um, this is the junction box. I disassembled it. Um, as you can see, right here, there's four screws. I have this grid in. And uh, when you hook this up, my advice is just take this out. It's just four little screws. Not that big of a deal. And uh, instead of trying to work in here like this with just a little bit of room and I don't know, it's it was just to me it was easier to do it this way now I may have a time getting it back in this in this but we shall see so um actually I'll just show you a little close up here here's all the little screws Um, if anybody has one of these and they're having some trouble or need help, um, I'll be glad to help you. This is, um, well, I'll just show you here in a little bit. Alrighty, I got the organized chaos all straightened out. Mm, Alrighty, uh, let's just start with the cables. These two here obviously go to the load cell. And the outer, outer ones on these go to the load cell. And this one here is your communication cable. It goes to your display here. Tells you how much they weigh. Um, each one, this, let me just take it off here. A little plastic three. I don't know if you can see right here, but there's a little rubber rubber gasket, rubber seal. It's about mm, it ain't very long. Uh, I would be shocked if it was a quarter inch long. But it's it's more of a rubber sleeve that goes up goes up in here, like so. They have fans. Okay. And make sure they go up in there. Make sure everything is kosher there. There's the screws. That's what they just thread it up, thread it up on there like so. Yeah. So. They all have that. Okay. And then. Four screws here. Covers the plate. This is a sealed junction box. It's waterproof. So, there's that. It's on there like so. Make sure you line the screw holes up. Good. Easy peasy. Then you just tighten them down. Okay. Here's the battery. Um, let me see what it says. Okay. So, in case you wanted to see what the battery looks like. Alrighty. I got them bolted in and it was fairly simple. And I got it all wired up. Uh, sorry I didn't get to show you the calibration. I had the instructions on my phone, so I had to 
do that. Get up on there, Mason. Yeah. You can see he's climbing up on it. Yeah, you can get on there. Go ahead. You can see both of them almost weigh 100 pounds. 97, 99. They're all moving around. Okay. Let's see how much I weigh. Okay. Hop off. It's okay. I'll fall. Okay, let's see how many pounds he weighs. Are you going? Okay. You weigh 160. Oh, Daisy's on here now. Okay. And Mason. So, anyways, <laughs> there you have it. Um, it's a. Uh, I put 400 pounds of weight on it. Um, it's actually very simple to set up. So if there's anybody, anybody out there that has one or is going to buy one and you have any issues or troubles or need help, um, you can just message me through private message either on Facebook, Instagram, or even YouTube. Um, any questions, you can leave any comments or anything like that. I'd be glad to help if need be. And uh, I got these from a and A Scales. They are, uh, I think they're out of New Jersey. Um, I would recommend buying it from them because they was very helpful with me yesterday because the instructions, uh, the pages, some of the pages was blank. So, but I called them up and they was very helpful. I mean, they, they was just top notch, you know, so, um, everything all around so far is they treated me very well. He's very helpful. Uh, willing to help uh, so I would order it from them a and a scales is the name of it um, so anyways thanks for watching comment if you like subscribe if you haven't and uh, we'll catch you a little later so thanks for watching